Hello and welcome to the Saigon Time Briefing. I'm Thay with the top 5 socio and economic events for this week. Vietnam exports growth 4.3% in May. Ho Chi Minh City January to make credit scores lower than nation's average. Vietnam's residents clarify inspection extension rule. Ho Chi Minh City supports linking Bellway No. 3 and Plans Expressway. TikTok violation in Vietnam found, say official. Vietnam exports in May continue to improve with a 4.3% increase versus April to 29 billion US dollars, according to an official at the Ministry of Industry and Trade. During the first five months of the year, exports generated 136.2 billion US dollars. Manufactured products accounted for 88% of the total value, with electronics regaining momentum. In May, Farm exports doubled compared to the previous month at 500 million US dollars. Coffee exports alone surged 38.5% to 418 million US dollars. Data show that Vietnam's raw shipment between January and May saw 40.8% in volume and 49% in value compared to the previous year as 3.9 million tons and over 2 billion US dollars. The United States were Vietnam's largest export market during this period, with revenue totaling an estimate. 37.2 billion US dollars. Ho Chi Minh City saw January to make credit expansion a slight 2.43% compared to late last year, below the nation's average of 3.17%, according to the Ho Chi Minh City press of the State Bank of Vietnam. After experiencing a significant improvement of 1.37% in March, credit expansions lost momentum in the subsequent months with a slight increase of 0.46% in April and 0.7% in May. In comparison to December 2022, outstanding loans in Vietnamese dumps rose by 2.21%, while loans in foreign currencies increased by 6.46%. The manufacturing and priority sectors were the largest recipients of loans during the first five months of the year. The credit scores nationwide last year were much higher as 8.8% between January and May. The slows down in credit expansion were attributed to top business conditions, mostly induced by the global economic downturn. However, there are expectations for improvements in the remaining months of the year due to anticipated microeconomic stability and controlled inflation. Shortly after the Ministry of Transport issued a new circular, extending the roadworthiness certificates of private use cars of up to 9 seats for 6 months, Vietnam resident has made a clarification saying only vehicles who inspect the certificates expire before July 1, 2024 will enjoy the automatic extension. The Ministry of Transport just released Circular 08-2023, stating that vehicles of up to 9 seats that are not used for transport service can continue to run on the roads for 6 more months if the roadworthiness certificates were issued before March 22, 2023. But according to Vietnam residents, only vehicles with roadworthiness certificates expiring before July 1, 2024 can benefit from automatic extension. According to Vietnam residents, the extension will help reduce the huge back loss of motor vehicles which the inspection center in Vietnam have coped with since the police by bribery charges against hundreds of leaders and inspectors at multiple vehicle inspection centers nationwide. Ho Chi Minh City has thrown its support behind a proposal to connect the plus Ho Chi Minh City Thu Dầu Mo Chân Thành Expressway with Ho Chi Minh City Bayway No. 3. Earlier, Bình Dương province made the proposal to connect the starting points of the plans Ho Chi Minh City, Thu Dầu Mộc, Chân Thành Expressway with a section of Ho Chi Minh City Bayway No. 3 passing through the province. In the documents submitted to the government office recently, Ho Chi Minh City suggests studying a suitable plan for the interchange of Bayway No. 3 and the Ho Chi Minh City, Thu Dầu Mộc, Chân Thành Expressway to facilitate traffic flow and ensure road safety. The city authorities also outlined the intention to allocate over 2,000 billion Vietnam dollars from the city purchase for the construction of a road leading to the expressway. The ongoing inspection into the operation of social media platform TikTok in Vietnam, set to conclude this month, has uncovered a number of regulatory violations, says Deputy Minister of Information and Communication Nguyễn Thanh Lâm. He said thus, the inspection found the global leading short video platform had committed several violations of Vietnamese laws. Still, 
As the inspection is underway, the authorities will be unable to provide details about its breaches. The Ministry of Information and Communications, in collaboration with relevant agencies, has conducted a comprehensive inspection of TikTok activities in Vietnam since mid-May. The efforts were expected to ensure TikTok operations comply with the Vietnamese legal framework, preventing fake news, superstitions, and disinformation from spreading on the platform owned by the Chinese company ByteDance. And that's all from us for now. Thank you and see you next week.